Hey, hey, check out the Miles Play Boys. I'm back in this video. We're reacting to another Kevin Samuels video. This video is titled, I'm Pretty, So Why Am I Still Single? I can think of a few reasons for that. Before I get into that, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, channel blowing up. I think we need like, what, 58 subs left? Come on, man. Go tell your mama, your stepdaddy, your stepdaddy's cousin to go subscribe to this channel right now. All right? Without further ado, let's get right into it. Hi. Hi, how old are you? 35. Uh-oh. What's the feedback? Do you have some? No, you said no fair, but you have feedback. Oh, oh, oh. I do. Oh. I, I have been married for quite some time. You're still married? I am. Okay, go ahead. So... I am, I'm, I'm not your average. And in that, I mean, I am not your average. Um, I'm not your average black woman and what you would find. I am, um, I, I, I play in all types of um, arenas. I work in those arenas. I work in all of those. Okay, how about this? Talk, about, favor. Okay. Uh, talk to me like I'm four or a cocker spaniel because you're not really saying anything. Please. Okay. I'm not your average black oh, woman. I, I'm not your average black woman. I play in arenas. I work in arenas. I work in all these arenas. That's nothing. <laughs> Let me say this, whenever, most people don't expect to be selected. I was selected, and so I did not expect that at all. So let's go. Ask, and I shall answer. Well, I just wonder what your feedback was. You were talking in the comment section, so um, you said you're married. How long have you been married? 20 years. All right. Um, and you said you're how old again? I will let you guess that. I don't. That, I, I don't. I don't play. She said thirty-five. That's my questions are. You said thirty-five, so you're married since you were fifteen. What? Forty-three. Hey. So you just lie. You say you're thirty-five. Now you're saying you're forty-three. Which one is it? One thing I don't do is I don't do these things. No, I don't know you, so you've been married. We all know this. Keep going. Well, then, well, why do you watch my show? Because I actually agree with certain things that you say, not everything. And, and, and a lot of people that, that I speak to don't. And I'm like, no. Do you have any I've children? I've been preaching some of Do you have any children? Do you have any children? I do. How many? Three. Three. Um, you... We watch my show. We are married one with three children because you agree with some of the things I say. What do I say that you agree with? Uh, how we should carry ourselves, um, how we should treat our men, mm -hmm. how we have basically lost ourselves. I'm I'm in for that. I, I agree with that. I've been saying that for years. But what don't you agree with? With don't I agree with? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm the, I'm the. I, I can't give you that I, tonight. I, mm -hmm. I can't give you that. No, I will say this though. You've gone from 35 to 43. Just like that. That's amazing. Mm. I did, didn't I? Yeah. Just crazy. I don't like liars. It's the modern woman, y'all. It's the modern woman. And by the way, she started off by saying that I'm not your average black woman. I play in arenas. All yeah, you play in arenas of delusion. It's many a reason the arenas of delusion, right? 35. Why'd you lie about that? You're 43. You said you're married. Maybe you're not married. You say you have three kids. Which one is it? This is very this is immature. This is the modern woman. This is the example of the modern woman for sure. He's married. 
20 years, but she's 35. Oh, 43. Oh, guess. Uh uh, seem too good for you. Um, whoever your husband is, God bless him. <laughs> if you're really married, doubtful. Uh, many women watch my show because they know they've run their lives into a ditch and they're too prideful and too egotistical to actually really seek the help. So they're really trying, a lot of women are trying to do their own work, and which is, you're going to realize you can't do the work yourself. You need somebody to do it. But see, women who truly want a better outcome, check their ego. And see, being pretty is one thing, but having pretty and an ego won't work. Mm. Because pretty fades. High value doesn't. Mm. Um. I will say this to men and women alike. Anytime you deal with a woman who has ego, leave. Mm. It's going to end up badly. Mm. Ego will mask itself as masculinity with women, will mask itself as courage with some, but at the end of the day, it's all selfish. Mm. If you run into a woman who is pretty and it's all about her, selfish, leave. Whether it's overt or not, leave. Meaning, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Here's what you do. I often talk about this. Everyone, I think, should audit their situations, audit your friendships, audit your interactions. And if you're dealing with anybody outside of a business where you're doing more in a situation to maintain a relationship, pull back and allow the people to catch up. Mm. Because one of the one of the main things with people is we get into a, a pattern and we teach each other how to treat each other. We teach people how to treat us. Mm. So at the end of the day, guys, if you talk about dealing with pretty women, make a, make a pretty woman work like she's just like she's not pretty. Mm. Let's just be real. If she's pretty, make her work like she's like she's ugly. Don't look at her. Look at how she, like she makes you feel. That's what I tell my clients all the time. Don't look at her. Look at how she makes you feel. Mm. If she doesn't make you feel like the one, and understand what I'm saying, you're in control of your own feelings. But how a person interacts with you, you can't do anything about that. Mm. They don't, they don't know how to interact with you, bounce them. And if they want to do better, they will learn you. See, that's the thing about pretty privilege and honor women today. Pretty women used to learn that they used to learn that they had to work. Destroy the halo effect. Yes. Do I believe, believe what I'm saying? I believe this. Yeah. Let me, help, let me help you out. Hold on. Let me get this person out. Bye bye. See, and the problem is this. Just like if you had to make your become a, make yourself a high value man, understand something. You started somewhere. No one in your life, inc no one in your life should be more important than your purpose and your mission. So that, da, 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 da. And here's the thing, guys: if you're not willing to lose, you don't need to get her. Men need to do this as well. Well, there's a difference for men. I want to stop him right there. That, that was actually a really interesting point he made there. If she has an ego, leave. If she has an ego, it's all about her, leave. You know, ego and narcissism has been tossed around almost equally these days. Narcissism become more popular. So we look at narcissists as egomaniacs, people that put themselves at the center of everything, right? Everything's about them. It's all about them. Selfish people. And how he said how women treat you, you can't do anything about it. That's absolutely true. And a lot of men, if a woman's attractive, they'll kind of, you know, give them leeway for how they treat them. Oh, well, you know, I'm going to let her, I'm going to let this slide, I'm going to let that slide. He's right. Don't let it slide. Don't let it slide. You can have a standard for how you want your girl to look, but you also need to have a standard how you want her to treat you. There needs to be all. There needs to be one to one. That means if she treats you a certain way, but she didn't look the part, get rid of her. If she looks the part but didn't treat you a certain way, get rid of her. So she has to look the part and treat you a certain way. Now, if you have to take, you know, some concessions on one of these, 
take a little bit of concessions on the looks, but never take any concessions on how they treat you. And when I mean treat you, make sure they're genuinely treating you that way and they're not just trying to blow your head up because eventually they want to leave. Really look to see if their actions are genuine towards you. A lot of men can't see it. A lot, especially a lot of famous people. You know, Zion, he's going through that right now. Zion got a porn star pregnant. I don't know why, but I'm assuming the porn star was really lovey-dovey with him and gave him this crazy sexual experiences that he probably never experienced before. But who she is is important in this scenario, right? So all these things got to weigh itself out in each other when it comes to who you choose as a mate. Men, men don't have to do this. Women have to understand. And I'm going to skip Sorry. ahead a little bit. Let me pause Kevin Samuels on this a little bit. Hold on. Let me bring you guys right back. Open this up. Didn't need to do all that. Go full screen again. My bad. All right. Let's go to where we see another face. All right. Sorry. Marshall. I did want to make sure I came on today because we're going to open this part up for YouTube tomorrow. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm pretty fine. Good. How old are you? I'm 33. All right. What do you got? But are you really 33 or are you 43? Subject of pretty privilege. Are, are pretty women above having to work, hustle, and compete to keep a man? Mm. Is being pretty enough? No, it's not because I'm pretty and I'm single because I'm not accepting. Okay, what, what's is that? Are you in a car or something? Because I hear a phone ringing. Is what? I said I hear a phone ringing. Go ahead. Yeah, my other phone. Okay, I, it's, I got a hotline. Okay. What's well, You said it's not enough because you're single and what? I said being pretty is not enough for a lot of men because Facts. I'm pretty and I'm still single, so. What do you want? Nowadays, I, I don't. I, I don't know. I really okay. don't know what I want because these men they don't know what they want. A lot of men don't know what they want in women. Hmm. And you said you're how old again? Thirty three. Thirty three. So regardless as to what men want, you don't know what you want. I mean, I know what I want. But well, what is that? <laughs> guys remember the first thing I said about ego they're not willing to be honest to be honest with you I ain't gonna lie I don't know what I want in a man like I've been screwed in, for so long I don't know what I want in a man like I literally don't do you have any children yes I do she's five okay so start with the basics do you want to be married mm. of course who don't want to be married well, I'm talking yes, to I'm you, and I'm a, okay. I've asked you, what do you? I want to be married before I turn forty. Okay, why? Okay, no disrespect, but why is that? Was that so hard for you just to say? Because I've asked you, and you're like, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Then I ask if you want to be married. You say, of course. Hmm. I mean, I I don't know. I don't know. I have trust. I need you to hold the phone steady. You can't keep moving it all over the place or set it down somewhere. Were your mother and father married? Yes. What? Are they still? My mom and father was married, but they separated when I was like a baby mm -hmm. and got with my stepdad. So that's who I know as a father, my stepdad. Okay. And they, are their mother and your stepfather still married? Them two ain't never get married. They just was together for over, I'm um, 33, for like 20 something years. And you said your mother and your stepdad. Okay. All right. You just said that your mother and father were not married. Were married for when you were a baby. Then they got divorced. Mm. No, they, they didn't get got separated. My mama just recently divorced my dad. Five years ago, but still, I don't know that that's uh, that situation was crazy. I don't know. It sounds like, and, and I'm <laughs> Kevin, you about to jump down his girl though. It sounds like the confusion, and this is why your childhood so important. It sounds like she had so much confusion in the house. Her household 
her mind's confused about a lot of things. I don't know what's going on with them, and that's their thing. And so the same kind of chaos she grew up in, she's creating in her, her own household. Kevin, I want you to please ask her about her child's father and why did that kind of go sour? We're we're curious about that. But her and my stepdad, they've been together for over 20 some years. How's he your stepfather if they weren't married? I don't know why they wasn't married. He still was married to okay. my dad. Did they live in the house together? Yes. All right. you have any siblings? Yes. I have two, but my brother passed away last year. Sorry to hear that. They're, your mother has three children? Mm-hmm. All right. So, young lady, um, just in this little bit of time of talking to you, it's been chaotic. I'm just asking you just the basic stuff about your, who you are and what you want. And um, the story, way you told the story is, yeah, this you can't make it up. Yeah, yeah. You cannot make it up. Straight chaos. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do anyway. Gentlemen, this is what I mean. The problem today is not with men. The problem in relationships today, I'll take it back. It doesn't start with men. The problem today in long-term, committed, emotionally profound and significant relationships and or marriage starts firmly with women. Mm. That woman came on here talking about, I don't know what I want because the men don't know what they want. Now, understand, that was a mother. After several times, what do you want? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, who knows? Whatever. Do you want to be married? Of course, who don't want to be married? Were your mother and father married? No, they weren't married. Well, yeah, they were married when I was a baby. Then she got divorced and she got my stepdad and they've been together forever. So how long have you married? Oh, they've been married. I need you ladies who think I may be harsh or think mm-hmm. I may be out of pocket or whatever. I want you guys, I want you ladies to understand if your son were to bring, to say, this is the woman I'm bringing home. Mm. Would you say, all right, son, the son you raised, the son you protected and kept safe, would you be happy or ecstatic that that was the woman that was going to be out there next to your son trying to fight this life? Mm. 33, not 23, 33. And now a mother. Why am I saying this? Because what do you want? And that, that woman is running around with this lion. And see, that's why I'm a, a big, that's why when we talk about looks, and I'm a segue into something that's going to be a little bit of uh, a sensitive area. Ladies, so much, so much of so much, so much of modern women today is fake. You're mm. wearing someone else's hair, mm. fake nails, mm. fake eyelashes, mm. makeup. Women are walking around in disguise, mm. literal disguise. Part of that is to keep them, it's armor to protect them from the world. So they're walking around with someone else's hair, these someone else's nails, long nails, eyelashes, all this makeup. And there's a psychological issue that goes into that. Mm-hmm. So understand, gentlemen, when you see that, understand you're not getting who that person is. Wow. Wow. Just, and the sad part is up until, you know, many people don't like my show. You hate women, you this, you that, you da, 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 da. But up until we had a chance to really start having conversations one-on-one, Women like her would get with other women and they would blame men. Mm. And that's a popular term. The reason mm. that I'm this way is because of these men. Mm-hmm. Who that dude that be talking? Who that dude that be talking? No, I think so. Yeah. Uh, and, that, and, that, and that's really the issue. It's, it's, I want to say it like this, and you know, we're going to get off the, the video when, with this last idea. Women need to grow up. Women need to hold themselves accountable. This lady came on and saying that she don't know what she wants because men don't know what we want. 
how are our shortcomings becoming your shortcomings as far as if we don't know what we design? By the way, that's not all of us. The men that she dealing with don't know what they want. Or they know what they want and they're not telling. Okay, they know what they want, but they're not telling her what they want because it's not her. So they'll try to lie because, like I said, women like to be lied to. So they know it's not her. So instead of telling them what they want because they're going to be describing a woman that's not standing in front of them or they're not having a conversation with, they'll just say, well, I don't know what I want. That's a game. But she falls for that lie, and then now she thinks she don't know what she wants either because that game works so well on her. I guess my, my assumption is she thinks that game is going to work well on men too. But it doesn't go that way. You actually just look immature and childish. And I get it. The men that are pursuing you are immature and childish. Maybe even your baby father is immature and childish. And this is why you're not with him. Either way, it's not our fault, men's fault, that you don't know what you want. In fact, if men are so careless and not know what they want, do yourself a favor and know that you don't want those kind of men. That's how you should look at it. You want a man that knows what he wants. That's the difference. So, you know, this is a simple, quick video, but uh, it, it really is a good point to see that, you know, we all got to take accountability for our actions, including women. And we all should know that if we're dealing with someone that doesn't know what they want, they're not worth dealing with, whether you're a man or a woman. All right. Like this video, Scott channel, channel blowing up. I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, Come on, man. Go tell your stepdaddy, like this video. Go tell your stepdaddy, subscribe to my channel. And so we can hit a thousand subs. All right. Until next time, my people, be good. Peace.